Hi guys, it's Kelsey. Um, I know it's been a little while since I made a video, so I thought that I would make a little video about things I've gotten this past week, um, and maybe a little small what's in my purse thing. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I went into Walmart this past week and decided that I was going to hunger down and get some gel eyeliner. So I got this from Black Radiance, and I know it's for women of color, but hey, eyeliner's eyeliner, so works for anybody, I think. Um, I really like this stuff. It is not as forgiving as a pencil, of course, after it dries, but I will say that it lasts all freaking day. I put it on in the morning, I worked all day, went and worked out that night, by the next morning I took a shower, I got out, and it was still on. So it lasts really, really a long time, and I have really oily skin. The only thing I don't like about this stuff is the brush. Yeah, little rinky dinky brush. Um, this brush is okay if you're just going to do just a simple around the eye, but if you're doing a cat eye like I have on right now, I would use a brush like this. It's a skinny little brush, and it's got tiny little bristles to it, and it's a lot easier to do more detailed work like the winged eyeliner. Um, you can tell I'm really inspired by the 60s today. I kind of got a faux beehive hairstyle going on. There's a little wild hair there and the winged eyeliner and everything so anyway um if i know it sounds a little scary but definitely go try some i'm not good with liquid eyeliner but this stuff you can use it with a brush and it's almost just like using a pencil so i really like it go get it okay then the next thing is i wanted to try the new maybelline fit me collection but I only got the foundation because I have umpteen powders and I don't really need concealer since I'm older. I don't have that hormony, awful, oily teenage skin anymore. I don't break out all the time, so I don't really need concealer. If I want to, you know, put a little more on redness, I just pile on a little bit more of this. But I really, really like this stuff. It goes on well. You can't even tell you have it on. Um, you can pile on more for a little more coverage, but it's not really that sheer, but it makes your skin look really pretty. And I love how they have put the numbers on the bottom of them. I'm a 115, and if you're 115 in foundation, you're a 115 in the powder, you're a 15 in the concealer, and then they also have bronzers and blushes that kind of color coordinate with your skin tone so good good job Maybelline for doing that it makes it a lot easier for people to find their color and even when I put it on in the store because if you go in a store that's not the best lighting I still got a pretty good match so I really like it and I would definitely go get some it's not really that pricey I don't think I don't even think I paid eight dollars for this stuff so Definitely go get that. And then I also got these brushes. Oh my God. I love these brushes. This is the HD powder brush and the HD angle blush brush. These are so freaking soft. They put the color on really well. Um, it They don't really hold the color in the brush. You know, what you put on your face is mostly what you got on there so I mean it doesn't really hold color too bad in these brushes if that makes any sense but they're really great I love them they feel like velvet against my skin and then I'm pretty sure I've already done a small review on this but the Revlon face powder brush the retractable one I love this one too absolutely love these so definitely go get those from Walmart because they're really, really good brushes. And it's been a long time since I've seen good brushes at Walmart besides the Eco Tools. 
And then um, my friend Dana, she's got a channel on YouTube. It's um, Danalicious88, I believe. She raves about the hard candy stuff. So I decided to try these. I haven't really tried them yet. But I'm just going to show you the colors I got. This one is number 68, and that's Rock and Roll. This is kind of an eggplanty color and then a lavender shade. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. They're pretty. And then I really wanted a pretty emerald green for St. Patrick's Day. So I found this color, and that is 276 Space Cadet. And it's really... Um, kind of like a turquoisey greenish but it's a really pretty color so I will definitely do a review for a St. Patrick's Day look and I will tell y'all how I like the hard candy stuff so thank you Dana for convincing me to get some hard candy stuff okay then this is the highlight of my week pretty sad huh it's the Mac Dun, 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 dun. Lady Gaga, Biba Glam, lipstick. Oh, it's so freaking pretty. It is like a bubblegum pink, kind of a bluish pink color. I have it on now. I love this stuff. It does not feel like lipstick to me. I can't even feel it on my lips. So, I found it on eBay. I know sometimes you gotta watch out what e you get on eBay. This is really authentic. I paid six dollars but then here's the catch. 25 for shipping and insurance. So I got it in two days and this is my new love child. Love this stuff. Okay so that's all the stuff I want to review. Now I'm going to do a little, you know, you've seen them everywhere, a what's in my purse thing. This is my big ass guest purse. I bought it at Belk. I love this purse. It's nice and big. My cousin calls my purses Kelsey purses because I have huge bags. But you have to. So anyway, this is my purse and how cute is that cheetah print. I love it. Okay, so number one thing I always have in my purse, of course, is my makeup bag and my uni palette. That's pretty much a given, so I don't have those in there right now since I just got done applying makeup. But bottled water, um, I'm using Kangen water right now. It's got a higher pH to it. I get it from my health club, so... I drink it all the time, but any regular bottled water really helps, and I always keep it in my purse. And then, my Victoria's Secret Nortese Body Spray. Freaking love this stuff. It is awesome, and you never know when you're going to go somewhere, you might be stinking, so you might need to put a little spritz on, so that's why I keep it in my purse at all times. Next thing is my wallet is my Mark Echo wallet and it's got a really pretty kind of pin up -y design on it. A little crown on the bottom, a little sword and everything, and then a little skull over here on the side. And that's the back. And it says Mark Echo. And I've had this thing for probably about two, three years. I've been using it constantly. I probably will never use another wallet ever. I'll probably use this until there's just one little string left. But it's got tons of space for me to put my stuff. There's my license, some of my cards, a little coin slot. Use that for receipts, obviously, and my checkbook. And then this, you can put cash in, and there's a little pocket, and then my little zippy thing. So it holds a lot, and... I love this wallet, but I don't know where to find it anymore, so, but there's nothing wrong with it, so I've probably got another good three, four, five years to it, so, anyway. <laughs> Next thing is my camera, and it's in this case. This is a Nikon S4000, and I had to get it in pink, 
and you it's got a touch screen to it a little stylus so you can write on your pictures and everything love this camera I like the fact that it does not take batteries because if you have a digital camera and it uses batteries you know how bad they can suck the life out of batteries so all you have to do is just charge this baby and it's ready to go I love that camera got some gum uh, and a nail file never know if you're gonna have a hanging nail and then you got my baby brush and my little rat tail comb and my girls at work tell me that they're on, that I'm the only white person they know that carries a comb like this but hey you never know if you're gonna need to tease your hair to make it pretty or anything so that's why I have um, bobby pins and change and a little pill bottle I keep a leave in there, maybe some vitamins, you know, you never know. You might need a mama go. And more gum. And my keys. But that is pretty much everything that is in my purse. Um, thank you for watching my video. Um, I know that I mentioned Dana, so I'm going to put her link at the bottom so definitely go check her out um check out her blog check out my blog check out her youtube channel and i will see you guys in the next video see you later bye